All right, guys, I'm glad to have you here. And in this one, I'll be showing you how you can quickly set up your uh, Tailwind CSS for your project. Um, this is one of the most easiest and um, quickest way I've uh, actually discovered. And uh, please, if um, you've not subscribed to my channel, please just take out some time and do that. And also like the video if it was helpful to you. Okay, so make sure you have uh, Node.js installed on your computer. Uh, if you've not done that, whatever operating system you're using, uh, just make sure you do that because that's one of the packages you'll be needing um, to, to move on in this tutorial. Okay, so first thing first, uh, we'll just create a blank folder here because uh, I'm doing this from scratch. So you say Tailwind Approach, that's exactly what I'm going to call mine. So you can call it anything. So I'll open this on my VS Code. Okay, our project is opened on VS Code. Now you can see Tailwind Approach. So I'm going to take this off, open a new terminal. So let's drag this up a little bit. So I'm going to initialize. So npm init, that's the first command, init dash y. Okay, so this is going to create a package.json file for us. Okay, so we don't need to bother about that. Um, okay, so once you've done that head back to the official node.js documentation um page um so just uh, visit this url and you should be able to see this page so the first thing we'll copy this line of um, code here back hit enter all right so our tailwind css has been successfully um installed with our node modules so head back to the documentation I'm also going to copy this so I'll copy this come back here paste enter cool we have a tailwind config file here module export you know tailwind config now heading back to the documentation tool we have this it looks exactly what you see here looks exactly uh, like what we have here so the only thing we need here is this so I'm just going to copy this head back to our project then paste it inside the content so i'm also going to change something here i'll change the source so here i'm going to have um public all right so this is going to link up to uh, where we store our public files so public dash dash whatever so we'll take this off head back to the documentation we can see uh this so i'm going to copy this too Head back to our project so now i'm going to create um, a folder here i'll call it src then inside the folder i'll create a file a new file called styles.css cool so inside the styles.css i'm going to paste the same code i copied from um tailwind css the official documentation page then i save then let's see what next we need to do okay so this is the last thing we need to do so i'm just going to copy this i'm going to make a little change to what i just copied right now so i'll paste it here make my changes and um, of course take it out so here i'm going to change it to styles the css so it will represent exactly what we have here source then styles the css then the output file we are going to store the output file inside public public slash uh, styles okay so what this i does is that it's um, okay it initializes this then this uh, o uh, outputs what we have here so this is input and this is output so i'm just going to cut this off so i'm taking it away um, then head back to our terminal paste it then click hit enter cool um, it has been successfully built so here inside our public folder you can see a new CSS file has been created here automatically with our public folder for us when we run this command so I'm just gonna take this off then inside your public folder let's create a new file called index.html okay so this is where we're gonna test this out um, create a boiler plate I'll call this um, Okay, tell wind um, test. 
cool then say h1 uh, this is just a test um, file all right so i'm going i'm going to run this on my live server okay so run this directly on my right live server all right cool this is it but now we've not integrated our uh tailwind css uh, link so we we'll have link then we're going to grab this styles.css this same styles.css which are on the same level in the directory so we save so when we refresh you can see the change here that's to show you that our tailwind css is working but that's not all so uh let's quickly do something so i'm going to head back to the official documentation uh just go back here go to utility fundamentals so i'm gonna copy um, a random code here so we can test out what we've done all right so let's use this one so heading back to our projects i can just paste this here so when i save get back to our folder you can see it's working so our tailwind css is working so maybe i can just add something small here maybe one of these tailwind css commands um, or classes so let's add a background color so here i'll make it um uh okay blue so it will be obvious then probably uh okay 600 so it shows the intensity moving on yeah so we can see our blue here so one more time thank you so much for um being part of this tutorial and i really appreciate if you um, take some time subscribe and like the video if it was helpful. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye. Bye